On Monday night, townspeople broke into the two meeting houses and rang the alarm bells, which I suppose was for fire, but they informed that the town's inhabitants were assembling to attack the troops, and that the bells were ringing as a signal for the purposes. I went to the main guard. On my way there, I saw people in great commotion, and heard them in the most cruel threats against the troops. After I reached the guard, about 100 people passed it and went towards the custom houses where the, the king's money is lodged. They immediately surrounded the sentry posted there. I sent an officer and 12 men to protect both the sentry and the king's money and very soon followed myself. The mob increased and were striking their clubs one against the other and calling out, Come on, you rascals, you lobster scoundrels, fire if you dare. At this time I was between the soldiers and the mob, trying to persuade them to retire peacefully, but to no purpose. They advanced to the points of the bayonets, struck some of them and even in the muzzles of the guns. Some well-behaved persons asked me if I intended to order the men to fire. I answered, no. While I was thus speaking, one of the soldiers, having received a severe blow with a stick, stepped a little to one side and instantly fired. On which asking him why he fired without orders, I was struck with a club on my arm, which for some time deprived me of using it. On this, a general attack was made on the men by the great number of heavy clubs and snowballs being thrown at them. Instantly, three or four of the soldiers fired, and directly after three more in the same confusion. The mob then ran away, except three unhappy men who instantly expired, one more since is dead. On my asking the soldiers why they fired without orders, they said they heard the word fire and supposed it came from me. This might be the case as many of the mob called out, Fire! Fire!